You've been a voice for the industry through your interviews for several mainstream publications, including GQ and Vice. What do you wish more people understood about this industry? I wish... What I always try and really like come across that is we're here because we want to be here. And we're successful because we take it professionally. Like we have fun with it. Don't get me wrong. Like I'll joke all day long about it and and have fun with it. But it's so hard when so much of the mainstream stuff seems like it can only sell anything it covers on the industry as long as it looks like we're a bunch of down and out on our last strings, it was this or suicide almost essentially. And you can't like, they can't depict the industry without it being a terrible thing, Mm -hmm. which I know is what the majority of the public is always going to kind of look at. Like, yeah, that's what's going to sell most headlines. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to cater to, yeah, it caters to the narrative that most people accept and understand. Right. Yeah. It's like, I know that we're never going to convince the Mormons and, and mm-hmm. whatnot that like, we're like, you had no problem with me for the last three weeks when we've been hanging out doing this until it's yeah. like, oh, wait, what? Yeah. No. Oh, you are the devil. <laughs> 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 like, all right, cool. Do your thing. But, um, yeah, it's like the ones I see, especially in the industry, it's like the ones that seem to be the most successful are the ones that do take it very professional and either have a very well balance between party and play or like work and, and play or play is not really part of their vocabulary, mm-hmm. which I think is more in my yeah. my own where it's not necessarily I'm saying I'm not successful with it. I mean, I'm still here. I don't know how I'm still here, but I'm still here. (laughs) Um, But, you know, it's like I've never done coke. I don't do drugs. I barely drink in this year at all in general. And I've never been a heavy drinker to begin with. Um, And it's like I show up to set and I want to be camera ready at all times. I mean, it's I tell it to all the new people all the time. Like, be camera ready at any moment because you could get that call from the company I've been trying to get in with that's like how soon can you get to set we need somebody mm-hmm. now and that's yeah. how I got my foot in the door in a lot of places so it's like I want to be camera ready ready to go professional like you said one of those ones that's not creepy that's not pulling some stunt where people are kind of skeezed out don't want you there I show up I try to be as helpful and compliant with directors as they want because they I can't see what the camera is getting. I'm trying Mm -hmm. to get it. I still don't understand half of it. It's like, we're going to go into doggy. I'm like, where do you want my head? (laughs) (laughs) 15 years later, I'm still like, which way am I facing for this? Cause (laughs) I I know I'm going to get it wrong. (laughs) Um, So it's like, so a lot of us do that. And we probably are your neighbors that you don't realize that you'd like hanging out with. And that we're good people. Genuinely. And not what the media has to depict. So I always be very careful with my words not to be where you can cut it out and frankenbite it, if you will. Yeah. So that all of a that, sudden it becomes. That is, that is, I've had that happen to me. Oh, yeah. Where people have like cut up what I've said and make it sound like something I never said. It's, I, it's a struggle. All the time I watch everybody yeah. in the industry get so excited about, oh, we just did this thing for Netflix or this thing for Hulu or this thing with uh, this movie that they're going to produce and it's mm-hmm. going to be all about us and it's all going to be in a good light. And like. I actually got a fight with one of the reality casting agencies when they were casting something that I think was going to be almost like an MTV true life or something. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, be very I posted very publicly. I was like, be very careful what you say and do with these people, because while they want it to be good, it, it won't sell unless they spin it to be mm-hmm. very bad. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, it's not always like the producer, like boots on the ground person's choice. No. You know what I mean? A lot of times, like, They may be your ally. They may be on your side. They may want to cast you in a certain light. But like when it gets into the editing room and the people who are like really in charge take a hold of the footage, like they can't. Right. They can't do anything. So it's not even like the people that you're working directly with that you have to be cautious of. It's no the people higher up the chain. Yeah. It's like if you want to. I mean, I guess almost an example using mainstream stuff. It's like if you look at Justice League versus Zack Snyder's Justice League, it's Mm -hmm. like you have what they wanted it to be and you have what they released because the production team 
outside of everybody that was on set and that was involved with that went, no, let's do this. Mm -hmm. And it's not what the original vision was supposed to be. And like I said, with casting, yeah. it's like, yeah, they're trying to get people and do this and they're trying to build this up. And, and it's almost like almost without fail, every time I watch it, just be it gets cut up so that we look so bad. Yeah. But it's what sells, unfortunately. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.